Hey YouTube, what's up? Untaped Photography here, and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, spikes in your wire parameters, whether it be ammonia, nitrite, or even nitrate, and how to control them. Um, I just test my water here in my 5 gallon beta tank, and um, I'm ha showing signs of nitrite of about 0.5 ppm. Um, it looks a little less than that, but in my test kit, you know, the closest thing it resembles is 0.5. But any nitrite is deadly, so I quickly did a wire change. And what I figured out was, is I left some zucchini in here for the snail, and uh, he never ate it. So it just kind of started to decay in the water column, and it was my fault that I didn't get it out. But, uh, you know, everybody makes mistakes in the hobby, even I do. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, control a spike. Why I have Prime right here is because it is really good at controlling spikes. It's the only time I ever use Prime to control a spike. This is an emergency option. I use stress code as my main dechlorinator, never prime. But if I do use a have a spike, it even says for you know if you have a spike double dose, I grab prime. It removes well, it detoxifies ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. Provides slime coat, you know, chlorinates the water for me. All that. It's a good product. Prime does great. Seco makes great products. Um, you know, prime used to be my main water conditioner, but it's just too pricey for me. Another thing is gravel vac, guys. Come on now, you need to be doing your water changes. Just uh, you know, siphon the gravel because you know there's probably a lot of uneaten food in the gravel. Another thing that helps spikes to keep them from happening is uh, live plants. Whether it be something as simple as this, this is duckweed. I can't get my dang camera to focus on it. Hold on. There you guys might be able to see it now. It's duckweed. Uh, it grows like crazy every 48 hours. It, I mean, it take you can take over a tank in like two weeks, and um, yeah, especially if you have high, you know, nutrients in the water, nitrates, and all that. But my water looks clean, but that doesn't always mean that there's not a spike or a bacterial bloom. And uh, usually, once you remove the source of the spike, uh, it usually will stable out. It's what happens is decaying food it basically overdoes the benefits bacteria and it can't keep up with the load so it kind of crashes your cycle but I still had nitrate reading which means it just kind of my cycle is just screwed up but uh, I'll just keep you know testing the water daily and uh, doing water changes until it clears up and using prime that really helps with the fish but all the fish are acting great so I'm not really worried about it um, so yeah another product that also helps if you don't want to use prime uh, tetra safe start but I actually noticed with Safe Start, it, uh, it gives you a high nitrate reading, but it will take care of ammonia, but it will, again, give you a high nitrate readings, which wouldn't really help my situation. But uh, as long as I'm getting readings for nitrate, it means that my cycle's just been kind of screwed up by the food. So uh, I just got to keep an eye on my cycle. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to make this video about, uh, spikes and how to control them. Um... Remember, keep up with your water changes. Don't let, you know, food sit too long like I did. And uh, just be checking your filters, making sure everything's working properly. And uh, that's how you can really just keep a spike down. And uh, use Prime, or if you're having ammonia spike, you know, use Prime with uh, Tetra Safe Start. So that's how you can do it, guys, to keep your spike. Uh, it's been Untaped Photography here. Thanks for checking out my video. See you guys later.